Hello, beautifuls. I just want to give you a message about staying in the now. There's so much in the collective energy right now. So much fear and anxiety and it's really, really intense. It's really, really thick and it's pulling on our survival mechanism. And when we're in the survival mechanism, we're thinking from our, our, our amygdala, our survival brain. And it is constantly talking and trying to solve problems from that state of consciousness is exhausting and it will drive you crazy because I am going crazy sometimes. And it's not until I remind myself that this is not who I am, that this is just my mind creating drama, my lovely DQ, my drama queen, she just loves to go on tangents on this idea that she can fix this problem by thinking. And unfortunately, all she's doing is thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And instead, it's that invitation to relax, to get out of survival mode, because once you're in survival mode, there is no creation. There's no creative energy from a survival mechanism, right? Your, your state of fight or flight, your sacral is inflamed, the t saber tooth tiger's going to come and eat you. And the last thing you're gonna do is sit down and start writing a poem. It's not gonna happen. So from that state of fight or flight, there's no creativity. And you can't get a creative solution from that space. So my invitation is to continually remind yourself and put things in your day. The first thing that you do is remind yourself that we're not in state of fight or flight. There is harmony in the world. There is love in the world. There is beauty all over. If we can just let ourselves be in that energy of love and joy and bliss that can be available to us at any one time whenever we want it to be our state we can allow for ourselves and invite ourselves into that state of bliss into that state of joy just by remembering oh my mind consciousness is very very small but my heart consciousness is very very big and it can connect to the state of the I am, of the divine, of the magic that's available to all of us at any one time. So I want you to remember to, to put things in your calendar and, and get into the state of feeling. How do I feel right now? I know there's a lot going on and pamper yourself, it's okay. This, we're going through a crazy time in history and it's okay to be scared. But it's, it's the mastery, right? We're, we're practicing to be masters of our minds, of our beings, of our states. And what beautiful, what more of a beautiful opportunity to practice your state to practice your mastery than in crazy worldwide times. I mean, that crunching, that, that catalyst is, is such a perfect environment to test yourself, to acknowledge that that is not your, the truth of who you are. Right? It doesn't have to be your current and constant state. 
And the more that you flip in and out of the mind and the heart, you know that things are happening. You know that your awarenesses are changing and your habits of, of your state are, are changing, that, that you are becoming more of a master because they're testing you more and more and more, or you're testing yourself, wherever your belief system is, right? So you're allowing for yourself to become the master that you are, and that is not going to happen outside of yourself. The mastery comes from within, and it has to come from a choice, a state of knowing that you are love and that you can experience love at any one time. That is just a choice away, no matter what's happening on the outside of you. So go into a state of feeling. How am I feeling right now? Am I feel, can I feel joy? Can I look at, go outside and look at a flower and feel beauty? Can I feel gratitude? Can I feel, where is that feeling in my body? Ask yourself, where is it? Because if you ask your mind, where is it? Then your mind's looking for it and it's busy looking for it versus feeling sorry for yourself, right? So it's gonna change your brain waves and it's gonna change it into a softer, more accommodating, less a particle, but more of a wave. And when you're in a wave, you're in a relaxed state, and that's when creation can happen. That's when magic can happen. You can, you can invite all kinds of amazing things into your world. There's thunder out there. <laughs> um, you can invite amazing things into your world when you relax and allow for your heart to open and feel into the bliss, feel into the joy, because it's right there. It's right here in the now. And practice that. And as you practice more and more and more, you are becoming the master that you already are. So invite the belief and the, and the thought that, wow, you know what? Yeah, there's crazy stuff in the world, but that's okay because I'm going to use it as an opportunity to evolve. And once you evolve, once you light your candle, you can light other people's candles. And that is the way for all of us to light each other up and light this world up into a more amazing, magical place, because it's happening. Whether we like it or not, more and more bliss is happening. More and more light is happening. More and more love is happening because we're getting to see the contrast. We're getting the opportunity to see what we don't want and choosing bigger and choosing brighter and choosing so keep on choosing, warriors. I'm so honored to be on this path with you. Thank you for being in my space. Thank you for watching.